So how we started whenever I was teaching or interned at Shapola, we started in January and we went through a three week program where I watched and I learned how my teacher taught and then what she did in her routines. And then I took over subject by subject. So one week we'll do reading, the following week I'll do reading and math and so forth. Now, this year, they started where it's a long, a year long internship where she starts in August and she goes through the end of the year through May. And to me, I felt like it was more beneficial because she got to see the teachers. She got to introduce herself to the students. She saw open house. She was able to start a relationship with kids rather than start in January and of the unknown. So I felt like that was the biggest thing that I saw as a difference that I wish I would have had as an intern. I think that was huge um, for me not being just thrown in in the middle of January, especially now with testing. Um, usually after Christmas break, it's hardcore. <laughs> You're getting down to testing and all those things every single day. So I was there from the beginning of the year once a week, and I was able to really um, create a relationship with Monica and with the students. So they already knew me and respected me and all of those things so I think it, it was smoother mm -hmm. the transition especially being in FSA grades and that's usually how they try to start you off and being in third and higher up you have to really start in January as structure for FSA and get prepared and for her to come in in August there mm -hmm. wasn't that you know so much tension and stress <laughs> put on her or myself and the kids felt more willing to mm -hmm. try with you and, you know, look up to you as a mentor of themselves. Mm -hmm. I felt like they really, they really enjoyed themselves. And I was able to teach the whole time. I mean, from probably what, like the mm -hmm. second or third mm -hmm. day I was in there, Monica was like, okay, you, you know, you can start teaching whenever you're ready. So from the very beginning, I was teaching reading, math, science, all of those things instead of waiting to just my right. three weeks, you know. So I think that was huge for me. And then, you know, since I already had the relationship developed with Monica, I felt comfortable enough to be able to, you know, in the middle of a lesson say, okay, Monica, I don't know how to do this, or yeah. I need help with this, to where it wasn't like I was going to be judged or I was going to fail at this lesson if I had to ask a question. I was really comfortable with her, and the students were already comfortable with me. So, And I felt like whenever I was interning, I didn't have her, my teacher in the room with me, and I didn't want to mess up as a teacher and tell the kids something wrong or incorrect right before their big FSA test. So I was always looking over my shoulder and questioning myself, am I doing it correctly? But her, she was able to do that work, that co-teaching where she looked at me and I'm like, you got it, you know, that's right, <laughs> you know, and gave her affirmation that it's okay and you're doing it right. And also, I felt like if, we realized that when we had a disruption with a child or had to take a kid out of the classroom, she just picked up. I didn't have to ask her. I didn't have to look at her, do anything. I just walked out with the student, and she continued with the lesson. Mm -hmm. It just it was a flowing classroom. Any any disruption, a phone rang, and I, it was the office. I answered the phone, and Savannah just started teaching. Mm -hmm. You know, it was. I felt that it it just ran smooth. And I felt like she helped with our school grade at Sneeds Elementary School. She was a big asset to fourth grade. And to those kids, they really looked up to her. They wanted her there. They wanted her help. Mm -hmm. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. I really think that having the year-long teacher program and the interning program has really helped her as a teacher feel better, comfortable coming into a new school year rather than a few weeks by herself. I feel like the co-teaching method has really helped myself, her, and the students in general. I feel like for me, in every interview I've had so far, um, the principal or whoever's asked me, do you feel prepared? Do you feel like Chipola prepared you? And I would say 100% from my internship, just being able to see what was going on from, you know, the in-service days to open house all the way to the end of the year testing. So I would say 100% that Chipola's internship very well prepared me for real life teaching somewhere. So.